Hey there, Share Followers. I'm going to be showing you how to log into ShareFile today, so let's go. Each ShareFile account has its own unique URL. The section of this URL with my company in it is called the subdomain, and it will be followed with .sharefile.com. Don't know your account's subdomain? Go to secure.sharefile.com and click on the hyperlink don't know your account subdomain. Once you're on the account's login page, enter your email address and password for the account. If you don't know your password, click on Forgot Password to reset it. During the login process, you may be asked additional questions and to enroll in two-step verification. The benefits of two-step verification is that it adds an extra layer of security to your ShareFile account. For configuring two-step verification, enter your phone number and select the option to receive a code. Once you've set up your two-step verification, you will have the option to pair an authenticator app to receive verification codes as well. Helpful tip, make sure to download the backup codes and save them on your computer if needed. You won't have to use the code every time you log in. You can use the trusted device checkbox to avoid this step in the future. Keep in mind that if you clear your browser's cookies, you will be asked to log in with two-step verification at your next login. If you're a client on the account, you will be asked to verify your name and email when you first log in. Depending on the account you are working with, they may require you to set up two-step verification. For security reasons, ShareFile has a default lockout period of 60 minutes, so you may have to refresh your page and log in again if you're not active on the account. Keep in mind, admins can change the timeout period to fit their business security needs by going to Admin Settings, Login, and then Security Policy. When choosing Remember Me, during your login, the information it remembers is your email address, not your password. If you want to log in easier, you'll want to look into a third-party password keeper that works with your browser. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for future ShareFile tips. Until next time, happy sharing.